Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is part three of three showing how to make a shed in Revit. So what you're seeing here is where we left off after part two. We have a shed that has two windows and a door. So if you are not at this point, then make sure that you go back to the previous tutorials and watch it. They are linked below. So let's go ahead and start off making our material. I'm going to click on one of my walls here. And I'm going to start off by going to edit type. Now, let's start off by making sure we duplicate this material and let's call it shed wall siding or whatever works well for your project and say OK. So you're going to notice that the type updates up here and I can go in here and edit my structure. So let's say edit. Now, I want to start off by inserting a finished material up here. And this is going to be my siding. So let's click on material. And then you're going to notice that there's not actually a material for siding. So you're going to go to create new material, right click on the new, new material and rename it, horizontal siding, and then go into your asset browser and we need to pick a visual finish appearance. So type in siding and you have a few options that will pop up. For this project, I'm going to use my horizontal six inch beige double click and that will be applied to my horizontal siding preview a couple of things that we need to do first is go into graphics and make sure that use render appearance is checked and that we're also applying a cut pattern so my surface pattern when my hidden line option is being used is going to be horizontal so say okay once you've done that go ahead and say okay and you're going to see that your new material has been applied to your finish uh, your finished material here. Let's also add a half inch thickness to our siding and let's finish with the rest of the wall material. So we know that our interior structural component are going to be our studs. So we're going to go ahead and add our lumber and say, okay, we're going to add a three and a half inch thickness to our lumber. We're also going to insert a row above that, and we want to make sure that we have our sheathing that is also in place. So type in sheathing. OK. Let's add a half inch amount for this. And above our sheathing, we're also going to have our vapor barrier, which is not a structural material. That is a membrane layer, so make sure you fix that. Go to our dot, dot, dot one more time. Let's go into vapor, type in vapor retarder, say OK. And that membrane thickness can be left at zero inches. Lastly, let's go ahead and insert one more row. I'm going to bring this down underneath my core boundary. This is going to be my drywall. So let's go ahead and change this to a finished material. Type in my gypsum say OK. And I'm going to give this in a thickness of 3 eighths. Now, this might look different based on what the project is that you're working on, but you can use this general tool to create your own materials or organize your materials however you'd like. So once you're done, go ahead and say OK and say OK again. And you should see that your preview now looks like it's horizontal siding. Obviously, you're going to want to make sure you control click on the rest of your walls so that material can also be added to the remaining four walls. You're going to go up here to your properties tab and you're going to go down to your most recently used wall type and click on your shed wall with siding. That will update all of your walls and you will have a nice finished product for your shed. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.